بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now cdp or lldp are very useful protocols generally used to provide the neighbor neighbor device informations but at the same time these protocols have some vulnerabilities because uh, because generally it will provide you the neighbor device information it can also introduce to some attacks like where attacker can come to know the the native vlan information and probably can change uh, the vtp information the router ip address and also some some ios vulnerabilities if the attacker knows that what are the specific ios versions used and he can he can figure out some vulnerabilities in the ios and he can use that information for the future attacks now generally attacker uh, generally the system administrator uses the cdp for neighbor information but attacker can actually run some kind of packet capturing tools in the network uh, where he can capture some of the cdp traffic and in that CD, uh, CDP mostly it will carry the device informations. So CDP, it it's really good for for the network administrators. But if the attacker comes to know about the network information, probably it will be useful for him to introduce some kind of attacks based on based on the network addresses and the device informations, or maybe some kind of some kind of IBS vulnerabilities. So it's recommended to disable the CDP on the untrusted interfaces like the WAN interfaces uh, given by the provider, or maybe the access interfaces and the internet-facing interfaces. So all the untrusted interfaces should be disabled with CDP or LLDP. So either we can do it globally, or we can do it on the interface specific. So similar way, the same thing we can do for LLDP. These are the commands. Of course, by in Cisco devices, by default, LLDP is disabled. So, but in case due to some reason, if you have enabled LLDP, you can disable it by using this command either globally or on the interface specific.